Hi, my name is Will Shireman, and I'm a senior here at Oshkosh West. I have competed in cross country, boys soccer, and track and field. I've been running probably since the middle of middle school, and it just started with my dad saying that I should try something new. And so I tried cross country, and it turned out uh, that I was pretty good at it. And, and I just had the running bug, and it's stuck with me ever since. Soccer, I played growing up, and then I took a break from that. And then this past year, senior year, I started soccer back up um, because unfortunately um, in the spring of uh, last year I had a severe surgery on my calf and so that, that kind of hindered my running ability a little bit. And so I've had to deal with many setbacks from that and so I ended up playing soccer this fall instead of cross country but my first three years in high school I did cross country. So it was a, it's a unique injury, it's called um, acute compartment syndrome and so basically I would get numbness in my leg when I would run. And so what they did is they went in and did surgery and they took a, away a little bit of the muscle mass in there. And so eventually that numbness would go away. And so running in soccer is a little bit different than a cross country race because in a cross country race, you can't really stop. Do you know what I mean? But soccer, you get periodic breaks where you don't have the ball or you're not exactly you know, doing something that requires you to run. Not only is he a great gifted athlete, but he's also a true role model for all of the students on and athletes on our cross country team, as well as students in my classroom mm -hmm. that I work with. So he's just a really great young man, very determined um, with his injury that he had this year. I know it was really hard on him after putting so much time and effort into running and doing all these wonderful things that um, we had to really talk and reevaluate where we were with the injury, how are we going to retrain, how are we going to do all those things. And some athletes would have just given up, and he didn't. He was determined to do um, just really to work through that, power through it, and do great things, not only for the cross country and track team, but then went on to just have a phenomenal season with soccer as a senior, which was just great. It's definitely difficult, um, but I think that if you have your goals set aside. You know, first for me, my most important goal is to do well in athletics, or excuse me, to do well in academics. And as long as I focus on that stuff first and then think about my athletics as well, then I feel like I can be su successful in athletics. You talk about just goal setting and watching um, an athlete go to, how am I gonna set those goals? What am I gonna do to achieve those goals? And then going through when you get an obstacle, like the injury he had, that's hard to deal with. And how are you gonna recover from that? You know, um, so it was nice to really watch him and be part of that process as he had to discover and reevaluate, what are we gonna do? Where am I gonna train and how am I going to um, just really just go forward from this, as well as the whole academic piece. You know, because now we talk about goal setting for cross country or soccer or track. Now it's what am I going to do the rest of my life? And how am I going to work in all of my passion for running and other sports as well as make sure I have a career? Because, you know, there's, there's life beyond just athletics and it's been fun watching him go through that process as well. I have a job at Christiana's. Um, I'm a pizza delivery driver. Um, I'm also involved in the O'Neill uh, Honor Society here at West, and so we do a lot of volunteering activities. Um, some of the activities I've participated in this year include like the pumpkin walk, which takes place at Oakwood Elementary School. Um, also, I have participated in the polar plunge, which was you know held at Menominee Park, and that's that's pretty tough that it's cold, you know. But it's such a great experience, and I think that I can brave the cold just for you know one jump, or maybe be cold for 20 minutes to to go for such a great cause. Yeah, that's so awesome. that's another thing that I've participated in. Um, I do odd jobs um, throughout the city for a few individuals, and so that takes place pretty much every day, whether it be you know in the summertime doing their lawn care such as mowing lawns or in the winter like we've been getting a lot of snow so I've been taking care of that stuff and so I have a few individuals that I can do that stuff for so that's what I do. I'm pretty busy but when I do have downtime I like to uh, I like to play uh, 2k it's a basketball game with my friends so it's a good way to relax and you know my enjoyment of sports and so that's our like our thing as our friends so we'll play 2k. I really believe there's so much that goes into an athlete you know um, not only is their work ethic you know he has that there's also the leadership piece. And really, you need to be a good leader among that team. And he does that. He is a strong leader. He has that amazing work ethic and just pure determination. And those three things, um, it's just, it's a phenomenal to have all those three qualities in one person. And he's just, he's an excellent candidate for this award. I'm going to the University of uh, Wisconsin Oshkosh, so right here in Oshkosh. And uh, I plan on majoring in business. 
and potentially minoring in both uh, Spanish and insurance. So right now I'm in UW Spanish, which, which is Spanish 5. So I have two more classes that I need to take in order to get my minor. And so because business is such a global field, you could say, um, that Spanish minor will be very useful in the future. Um, so I'm looking down that path. And then I looked at my mom for a lot of gu guidance because she works at US Bank and does traveling all over the place. And so one of my main interests is traveling. I love to travel. And so I think about what she does all the time and think, you know, how can I do this? What steps do I need to take to eventually get there? And it's not just going to be some one big leap that gets me there. You know, there's a lot of stepping stones that you need to uh, utilize in order to ultimately reach your goals. Oshkosh Today is supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Dorora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. And House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.